Hi, so I thought I'd do a um, rig rundown of what I'm using right now. It's 4th of April 2014. Um, I did this just so I could look back on it in a few years and see what I was using. And some of you may find it interesting. Um, so I'll probably start with the amp actually. Um, this is a Bruff amp um, built by a guy in my hometown. Um, generally set it like this gains on six I use the volume the master volume for more volume um, it's not got too many knobs which I really like I can't be bothered with trying to fiddle around with loads of knobs um, and it's kind of set so it's not uh, overdriven but it's not fully clean it's just on the verge of breakup so it's just at that point where it's just a little bit kind of squidgy the sound is starting to compress and the valves are starting to compress it's got a Celestion Blue Allen Co speaker in the back uh, the one hand made in England uh, so the good ones um, and yeah like I said it's kind of based on a Vox and a Marshall um, bit of set so uh, sorry, the guy that built it built it with slightly less gain, so it's almost you almost get more of a cleanish fendery kind of tone out of it. Okay, moving on to the pedals. Uh, first in line, I have uh, Hartman Octafuzz pedal. Uh, really like this fuzz, the silicon based fuzz, um, and it's basically kind of like the Band of Gypsies kind of tone. Um, and that well that's that's what Hendrix was using at that point in his career was that you know, the bonuses of that really it's kind of smooth and aggressive uh, sound and fuzz um, but it's not that uh, dynamic in terms of your how you use it with your volume uh, like a germanium fuzz but I do really like this pedal it's really cool and I've had it for some time uh, micro cutron um, envelope filter pretty cool like it for rhythm and lead stuff encourages you to play really dynamically um, and yeah it's just a nice alternative to a wah pedal um, next is the Maxon OD9 I really like this tube screamer type pedal um, It's I think it's better than the TS9 personally um, there's a little bit more volume uh, in gain, it's got a better tone and it's true bypass if you're into that kind of thing um, next is a TU2 tuner by Boss, don't really need to talk about that Keeley Katana pedal really like this is um, a clean boost um, I kind of click it on just to occasionally bring out a clean part a little bit more or to obviously boost for um, solos and stuff like that um, two cool features about this pedal one, it's very transparent and clean sounding two you can pull out this knob here um, so it goes from a completely clean volume boost to adding more gain which can be really cool if you add that into the tube screamer because I don't actually own a distortion pedal sometimes I need more gain and that's a great place to get it from but it's rare that I'd need to do that but like I said it's just adds to the versatility of the pedal board uh, next is Dunlop Univibe um, I do really like this pedal. It's not actually a proper Univibe, um, believe it or not. It's not like a. There's something that it. I've forgotten the name of it. Something photo, something. It doesn't have those. And it sucks a bit of your tone. Um, it's a bit of a tone sucker, but I don't mind because at the end of the day, you can get really precious about how much tone you're losing with a pedal or something, but. Sometimes losing a little bit of that top end can actually do your sound some good, if you see what I mean. So it's not always about that. Um, yeah, I just think it, it it's a cool sounding Univibe. Next is a... God, that light's blue. Um, this is the Carbon Coffee Delay. Really like this. It's kind of... Um, very dark sounding analog delay. I, I set it up so 
it just adds kind of space to my sound. I've had it for ages, so I kind of know what to do with it in terms of getting different sounds. Um, but I'm not a fan of di digital delay um, at all. I don't think it, um, for me, I just don't think they sound particularly great. And plus, all of these effects are running straight into the amps. There's no effects loop on the amp. So I've kind of got to set these pedals. They've got to work well in front of an amp, which is why I've got them. Um, next is a Holy Grail. Uh, reverb, just a splash of reverb on the hall setting. Um, it's not too much. It's just a little bit there. Um, I do really like playing with reverb. It, it just for me, it just feels cool. But yeah, like I said, there's only a little bit of it on there. Next is my 62 reissue Strat. Um, beautiful guitar sound tone. A lot, not a lot to explain there. And there's my 62 reissue um, Fender Telecaster. That they're actually my girlfriend's teddies in the background. They're not mine, just so you know. Um, yeah, and that's also a very nice sounding guitar. This one is about 20, 20 odd years old now. It's a Japanese model. Um, quite a few famous players really dig this particular model, actually. A um, guy called Jimmy Herring uses this exact model. Um, just something about the Japanese ones made in this era do sound particularly good. So that's my whole setup really. Just a telly, fuzz, overdrive, strap and an amp.